Hi, we're here to talk about the equipment from Fukuda Denshi, the telemetry monitoring units, the bedside heart monitors, the rolling stand heart monitors, and the central monitoring devices. Um, we're going to start with the telemetry boxes um, here at the Promise facilities. Um, the unit is small, as you can see. It has a simple on-off switch. It requires one AA battery inserted in the bottom. They don't have to be parked. It's just going to be for Once the battery is inserted, you can turn on the device. You will see the screen illuminate. The screen displays two ECG waveforms. Also displays the heart rate and the respiratory rate with your small 7120 telemetry box. You can scroll through the screen using the arrow key to get your different numeric and waveform pictures. It requires a four lead EKG cable set that is snapped in the top of the unit. There is a blue event key on the front of the monitor. Anytime you want to record a 12 second um, strip to print at your central monitor, you can hold down the event key for three seconds. Your screen will turn dark and say event, and it will automatically generate a strip at your central monitoring device. Um, also, if you're in the room with the patient, um, you get any indication of they're complaining of chest pain, um, they're not feeling well, you see an arrhythmia on the screen, um, you can hold the, hold the event key for three seconds and it will generate a strip to document um, any episode that, that's occurring. Um, you will also find it at your central monitoring device under the recall screen. The unit is waterproof. Um, the patient can shower with the device on as long as the EKG leads are connected to the unit. It is waterproof. The battery life is five days. You will get a battery light warning as the battery life is decreasing. The warning will, on your screen will decrease and give you the indicator to change the battery as well as at the central monitoring unit. You will get a warning on the display screen to change your battery. I think that is all with this small device. Um, there's a second EKG um, or telemetry box, a little bit bigger unit. The difference between the two units um, the orange telemetry box can monitor ECG, respiratory rate, and oxygen saturation. Um, so as you can see, you have a second port um, that requires the Nelcor um, oxygen saturation probe to be inserted in the top. This unit is also waterproof as long as both ports are connected. Um, not waterproof if either of the cords is not uh, connected. Um, same principle with uh, this device as well, you have your gray on-off switch. Um, when you turn the device on, your screen illuminates. Two AA batteries in the bottom of the orange uh, telemetry box versus the one battery in the smaller telemetry box. Um, screen functions the same. Um, you have your arrow <coughs> keys to scroll down to view your ECG waveforms, your heart rate, your respiratory rate, and your oxygen saturation. Um, event key functions um, the same with both telemetry boxes. Uh, press and hold the event key for three seconds. Um, it will generate a 12 second strip at your central monitor. It will also document the event um, under your recall screen at the central monitor. Um, battery life with um, the little bit larger telemetry pack is three days uh, versus the five days with the smaller uh, telemetry pack. Um, also requires the four lead um, EKG connector cable. Um, there's a diagram on the front for lead placement. And um, another uh, key point with the telemetry boxes is storage um, and with the KG telemetry leads. Um, do not wrap them around the box. Gently wrap them uh, fingers width apart to connect the fiber optic cables within the uh, telemetry leads.